Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another... Hey, what are you doing? What's that? Don't you even think of that? In today's video, we're going to set up our jumping script. So if you have your game open and you click on your player to open up your character controller macro, uh, we should currently have the get movement, which is getting reading our input and setting our speed, our set movement, which is taking our movement variable and adding it to our x axis, and our flip component which is checking which key we are pressing, whether it's reading a positive or a negative value from our movement, and then turning our character 180 degrees so that it is facing the direction we are moving. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our gravity. To do that, we're going to go into our set movement. We're going to drag off of our Y axis, and we're going to use a vector two and we're going to get our y-axis. Now what are we going to get our y-axis from? Well we're going to get it from our rigid body 2D and we're going to get our velocity for our gravity. So if we drag off of here and go rigid body 2D and then get velocity. Alright, so if we play our game now and we walk off the edge of our platform, we should notice that our character falls at a decent pace. And off he goes. Excellent, so now we've got him falling with gravity, we need to add a jump. So we need to add a on button. Alright, and we're going to add an on button input. Right. And the name of the button we're going to use is our space. All right. Alternatively, it's also set up in Unity as our jump input. From there, we're going to drag out and we're going to go to our rigid body 2D. And we're going to add a force with a force mode. Alright, so the force we want to add to our y-axis, so we're going to leave x-axis empty. I'm going to set my y-axis to 5. And for the mode, I'm going to set this to impulse. So now every time we push our jump button or our spacebar down, we should add a impulse force on the y-axis to 5, causing our character to jump up. So let's test that out. So if you press play and hit your space bar, you can notice our character jumps. All right. However, there is a slight problem. You'll notice if you keep pressing the button, the character can jump infinitely. All right. So there's nothing stopping our character from jumping. So to prevent our character from being able to continuously jump, we need to set up some kind of ground check. Now I'm going to use my prefab to do this. So if you select your prefab, and then the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to set a tag. So if you click on your untagged, and then go add tag, all right, you get your list is empty. If you click on the add, I'm going to create a called ground. If you go back to your prefab, go to your tag list again, you'll now have ground in. So if you select that, it will automatically update all of our ground in our scene to now be tagged as ground. So you can check it by just selecting one of them and you'll notice it's now tagged as ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a boolean or a true false statement checking whether or not our character is touching the ground tag and if it is then the boolean will be set to true and then I'll put a limit on here, making sure that it checks whether that variable is true or false before it lets you jump. So let's set that up. So to do that, we need to go to our variables. I'm going to use an object level variable. 
I'm going to call my variable is grounded and the type I'm going to set to a boolean. Alright, so now we've created our boolean, let's put it into play. So we're going to have to break this. All right, we're going to add a branch. And we'll continue off if it is true. Now we need to check, we need to set a condition. So if we drag off of our purple, all right, we're going to get is grounded all right, to our variable. So if this is true, then we will jump. All right, and once we've jumped, we want to set our variable then to false. So if we go off of here and we go set is grounded All right, and then we drag off our control we're going to have a boolean and we're going to set it to false that's right, so going to select all that and this is our jumping script now at the moment it won't do anything because we don't have anywhere setting it to true so let's create something to set our boolean to true I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an event called on collision. All right, and we're going to use on collision enter, and we're going to do it on the 2D space. So we're going to drag off of our tag, and we're going to look for a game object. And what we're looking for is we want to compare the tag. Because right? the tag is what we set to ground. So we're going to be using the collider as our check. And the tag we are looking for is our ground. So what we're going to do with this, if it comes up that what the object our player interacts with or collides with, is tagged with ground, we're then going to set our boolean is grounded to true. So we need to drag off and we're going to set is grounded. And what we're going to do, we're going to go our boolean and we're going to set it to true. Alright, so control click. Um, and this is going to be our ground check. So now we've done all this, let's check it in game. So if we press play, and then we select our player. All right, if you have your variables open, you'll be able to see that the value is true at the moment. So if we jump, it's set to false and then we land again it's set to true again all right so now we can only jump once all right that's pretty good